Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel, and I am one half of two crazy ketos. So this morning is Thursday. It's day four of our Keto Chow Challenge. I am so excited. This week is flying by, but I am feeling fantastic. I got some great sleep last night, which I love. I love when I get a good night's sleep. Thank you, Lord. Um, and I woke up this morning, uh, 5 a.m., like normal. I did some shipping, and now I'm all done with these packages. It's about 7 o'clock now, and I'm going to head to the post office to drop these suckers off. And then I am going to go on my bike ride. I like the idea that I'm going to have breakfast today with my keto chow. Um, usually we intermittent fast, usually till like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So this week has been really fun because I've gotten breakfast every morning. But thankfully, I'm I'm not hungry yet. That's great. Two hours into my day, I'm not even remotely hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my bike ride first. And what do they say? Work up an appetite. I never used to work up an appetite. I always had an appetite. I didn't need to work for it. So I like that I have to work for an appetite now. Yay! So hope you guys are having a good morning as you are watching this. And let's get this day started. Well, I am back from my bike ride and I know I look straight up crazy here, but that's all right. I'm having my first keto chow of the day. This is the chocolate truffle, which I absolutely freaking love. And I put it in the freezer this morning at 5 a.m. just to kind of like make it slushy. And I love it. It's totally awesome. I am in need of shower. But first, I wanted to write some note cards to some people because look, we got these like cute little note cards with two crazy ketos. It has like all of our information on the back. And I just love mail. I don't know, I just love mail. I guess I'm just like a big kid getting a birthday card. So I thought that'd be fun if I could like write some letters using our new little note cards. So fun. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna head to the shower and get my afternoon started. Good morning everyone. It is Thursday and that means it is day four of the Keto Chow Challenge. So we are starting the halfway point on it. And I have to tell you, I feel incredible this morning. Uh, it is about 8.30 in the morning right now. Anthony and I came over here to cut the church. We cut the entire property here. I know Rachel got up super early this morning and did her shipping went on her bicycle ride and we're getting ready to get our day started here but i have to tell you i have so much energy i'm like impressed by how much energy i have yesterday we actually ate our dinner at about 7 30 and then i fell asleep at about 10 o'clock at night which i cannot remember the last time that i went to bed so early so it was really good it was like a nice change to be able to go to bed so early and i did wake up around four o'clock in the morning i got some work done on yesterday's vlogs we were able to get it up nice and early then i went and i did some reading and now we're getting ready to cut and it was just a great feeling now i am skipping breakfast today i talked about it a little bit yesterday i want to see how I feel if I kind of do a little bit of intermittent fast. I have a feeling I'm going to be like super full at lunchtime by kind of doubling it up. Uh, but I didn't like the feeling yesterday of going to work on such a full stomach. I just don't like to work when my stomach is so full. Uh, so we're going to see how it goes if I just kind of double up my lunch. And then tonight for dinner, I'm thinking about uh, trying to make an ice cream in the Vitamix using heavy cream with the keto chow. We'll have to see how that goes. I'll let you guys kind of follow us along. But right now, I'm going to go start cutting the church. I've got my Power Beats Pro. I, I love these things. I just got them. They're like wireless headphones from Beats and Apple. And I'm just excited to be able to go and listen to some worship music and get my day going. And then we will check in at lunchtime. Okay, so it's 1030 in the morning. And I do have a minute to sit down. Actually, I don't have a minute to sit down. I really should be doing laundry and folding my clothes. But instead, we are going to head out to the thrift store right quick. I wanted to see if they had any video game themed costumes or t-shirts or something that I could use to wear in our weekend services. Whatever the theme is in Coastal Kids, I usually try to just completely geek out and dress up in something that, you know, is, is engaging for the kids, you know, just to have fun with and just add to the festivities. So um, I'm gonna head over there 
And I just wanted to show you in case you've never been to a thrift store before and you are on the keto diet, like I said, especially for women, you are gonna drop sizes way before you drop pounds. And it can be very expensive if every single time you go down a size, you you know buy an entire wardrobe at your favorite mall store. So go to the thrift store and see, you can buy like a pair of jeans, a skirt, a shirt, you know, like your basic needs every single week even if you have to as you you know lose the inches and that way you don't go broke and you still look cute because sometimes if you keep your what i call fat clothes because i have plenty of fat clothes i actually used to call them period pants and if i kept my period pants around it wasn't long before they were my everyday pants so you want to get rid of the bigger sizes that you don't fit into anymore so that like we're just heading in the down direction and there's no going back but when you go to a thrift store sometimes they don't always have a fitting room or the fitting room is scary and you don't want to go into it so i like to wear like tight fitting clothing i'm wearing my uh, two crazy ketos tank top represent and um like that's when i would wear like yoga pants or athletic wear or something like that so it's nice and tight and if i need to try on clothes over my clothes i can do that so let's go to this rough store so here we are at women in distress let's see what are the bargains for a thursday 60 percent off all lamps 50% off shoes, but I don't always like to get my shoes because, yeah, the glue incident we had before. The boutique is on sale. Bottoms are only $2. All right, so let's check it out. Women in distress. This is a great thrift store. I love it. Well, we got about halfway through the church and the skies just opened up. And unfortunately, this is the kind of grass that uh, does not cut well when it's wet. It doesn't mulch up, so it just kind of leaves big clumps everywhere. So we're gonna actually come back tomorrow and finish up the point. Fortunately, the main part of the church is completely done. So we're in the middle of day four. It is lunchtime. How was your morning? It was so good. I feel so productive this week because I feel totally awake, totally alert. I've got some really good brain clarity going on. So I, I'm loving it. What about you? I'm really enjoying it. I mean, Anthony and I went and we cut the church. Of course, we got poured on. Luckily, it was after we finished the main part. So we just have like the the, the front part, which yeah. is kind of like an undeveloped part right now. It's like a cheese wedge that is like... It tricks you, right? Because it's much bigger yeah, than the church is like twice the size that it looks when you first look at it. But you know, there's a whole section which can't even be developed. It's got like drainage areas and a big hill and stuff. Yeah. But I still have to cut it. So we're gonna go back and cut that tomorrow. But you didn't even know this, but I decided I was gonna skip breakfast today. So you're like intermittent fasting. I, I decided to intermittent with fast with the keto chow to see how I feel because yesterday I went to work and I obviously I had our keto chow in the morning. And I just don't like going to work with that full feeling. And this stuff is filling me up so much. I almost felt like a little lethargic. Like, oh my goodness. Not, I wouldn't say lethargic, like tired. Just like I'm just not used to going to work with a big full stomach. and Being out in the sun. Being out in the sun and everything else. So I said, well, let's see how, how it works if I just now eat all of my meals between lunch and dinner. And right now it's 2 o'clock. Okay. So I've got to eat three of these shakes between two and seven o'clock. So this ought to be interesting. Yeah, but it's I think it's worth a shot just to see what it does and how how you feel. Right. Let's check our, our ketones and everything. Here we go. So you want to go first? You want yeah. me to go first? Ladies first. Ooh, my least favorite part of the day. <laughs> I love the fact that these Keto Coach ones are individually wrapped. I don't know. It, maybe it's just a mental thing, but I just feel like it's so much more sanitary. Yeah. Especially at the cost of them, because I can't tell you how many times with the other company, like, I would do it and then get a false reading. I'm like, crap, I just wasted a dollar, you know? <laughs> like, I didn't get enough blood, because the Keto Coach also requires a lot less blood. Yeah, it does. It feels like it just picks it right up. Let me get a little more on you, since we're double testing here. Squeeze me, baby. So Rachel's blood glucose reading is a 68. Wow. And that three, two, one. And your keto coach ketones is a 1.7. 1 1.7. So day four. Now you did have breakfast, but what time did you have breakfast? It was like what? Seven, eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. So several hours later at two o'clock. So what is that? 
uh, for six hours later. Yeah. Six hours later is 68 and 1.7. That's pretty good. That's, I'm feeling let's, great. Let's go ahead and do mine. There, you want to set these up for me? Okay. Here's that, that one. Here's this one. I will prick my finger. Let me push some blood up there first. Uh oh. You bleed pretty quickly. Sometimes I bleed a lot, and sometimes it takes a lot to get the blood out. Your blood glucose reading is 87 milligram per decimal. So blood glucose is 87, and ketones are 1.9. Wow, that is an all-time record for you. Well, I've had it up that high, but only after like a lot of inter a lot of fasting, like you know, 36, 48, 72 hours of fasting. So, wow, those are pretty impressive m numbers. That's like deep into ketosis. So, I'm happy with that. Now I can eat. All right, and we both have taco today. Yep, I have the taco that has some extra red and real salt in it. I really like the savory flavors. Well, I've been eating so much sweet ones that I feel like I better try a savory. <laughs> but I like starting my day with sweet, and I like ending my day with sweet. It's like a little treat for getting up and for doing well on my day. Yeah, it's nice to have just kind of both because then you feel like your normal eating routine, right? You have like something sweet for breakfast or like eggs and then you have something sweet in between. It's I just like kind of nice to mix it up. I feel like lunch should be savory. Yeah. I don't know. So I went to the thrift store today. Okay. And I just wanted to show everybody what I got. I spent $17.12, which that's is... That's incredible because you have an entire bag of I have a here. giant bag. And um, that's why we say, we say, um, go to the thrift store when you're in between sizes so that you're not spending a fortune on a wardrobe like every couple weeks as you lose weight. Right. Right? Um, but... I experienced something that probably a lot of people experience, and I wanted to just show you. So I got these clothes. Let me show you what I got, like a little small clothing haul, right? Okay, so these are um, from uh, Ann Klein Loft. Right. And so they are a size two petite. They still have the tags on them. That's why you want to give incredible. thrift stores a, a shot. So it's a size two. So I do have clothes that are size zero. I have some clothes that are size double zero, right? But I get a size two and I'm like, hey, I'm happy, I'm doing well, I like a size two. So then I go to the next piece of clothing that fits completely the same. Fantastic, I love it. Let's see what that, this size is. This is White House Black Market, size four. <laughs> so now, am I failing because One's a size two and one's a size four. I mean, this used to really mess with my mind because I started out losing weight. I was in like a size 22, 24. I would get down to like, let's say a size 16. Then I would try on another pair of pants in another brand and it would be a size 18. And now I feel like a total failure. It messes with your head. It totally messes. So now here is some Ralph Lauren shorts. And let's see, this size is a two. Okay, great, I'm a good person again. Yay, size two, we're going great. I got another pair of shorts, Ralph Lauren, size two. I'm still lovable, I'm still important, right? Okay, here we go. This is a Hollister, which we love these, I mean, $2 a pair of right. pants is kind of awesome. Size five, back to hating myself. Like, see, so you can't really, judge your size like sizes are all different and it's the same for you as well yeah i'm actually really proud of you because there was definitely a point where you were only buy clothes if it fit your size like right. you would get into a size two get into a size zero and i'd be like let's go over to this store and you're like no because in that store i'm a size higher yeah and i'm not gonna buy those no it's calvin klein size two <laughs> back in love with myself so yeah, and you're and you think it's going to be different for guys because it's the waist. Nope, it's the same exact thing because I I my attitude isn't as good as yours. My thing is is that I now wear anywhere between like I wear a 29, a 30, or in some things a 32. But for the most part, I'm like a 30, 31 depending on the store, and I will not put something on that's bigger than a 32. Honestly, I want to stay at a 30, and if I go into a store. If, it, if I can't fit into the 32, I'm not buying it. Because my thing is, is I'm never wearing a 34 again. And I don't care if it's like some European 
like made super small, I'm just not gonna do it. But it's the same way even with shirts. So in pretty much every company that I shop in, like Aeropostale or like even this, right? This is the Keto Brick shirt. This I is a medium. Um, if I go to soft. Express, size medium. If I go into Hollister, it's a size large. So you're like, I'm not buying and a Hollister shirt. And it's a small. No, I'll wear them because I'm okay with a large depending on the cut and stuff. But mm -hmm. I will never wear an extra large. I don't care if it's the smallest extra large. I'm like, I spent too long in that extra large. Yeah. I'm never wearing an extra large again. A lot of times I think that way. But now I'm sort of like, you know what? I just want to wear what I look good in. Like where I feel good and I'm comfortable and happy. Right. So, um and thrift stores really help me kind of get out of my comfort zone because yeah, for $2, I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna look at the tag, right? right. And so here you go, again, a five. This is um, this is Hollister. So like you're saying exactly, like maybe their sizes like yeah. run short or run small. You just small. have to get used to it. And then this, this is where it really gets you. I got this skirt, which I was really excited about. It's super cute. It fits me great because it's like skinny in the waist and then flares out where I flare out and then hips and buttocks this one doesn't have a size so now what do i do have a complete meltdown like there's all kinds of numbers like 550 is this a size 550 right like i don't know so in the past i probably wouldn't even purchase this no matter how much like i like it and i feel good in it because i'm afraid of the sizes so we are taking back the scale we're not listening to that joker and as far as the size chart goes try on some clothes and just feel good in what you're wearing. And go by just measuring yourself. Yeah. Just measure yourself, and that's what really matters is what a tape measure says, not what a size says. Exactly, because I'm not gonna like go cry because I have size double zero jeans, and then I just brought some size fives into my life. Right. I'm still Rachel. Right. All right, so cheers to lunch. What are you doing? Eating my keto chow. How are you eating your keto chow? Well, if you freeze it, like put in the freezer just like two hours before you're going to eat it, it turns into like a delicious frothy. <laughs> two hours before sounds like it would be like frozen solid, especially the way I keep our freezer at like negative six degrees. It is super thick though. <laughs> Very thick. Well, I'm having the taco. I love this taco one. It's really good. I'd really be interested in trying some of the other savory bases. Not so much the beef, beef one, but like there's a tomato soup and we've had the... Um, cream of chicken one that one was really good mm -hmm. I feel like I can come up with some really good recipes utilizing these like instead of like just as a nice base and then like add some like ingredients to it yeah with the taco one wouldn't you love to just have like shredded cheese and like hamburger meat in there yes for like a hamburger soup but it's got such a good flavor it would make just a great base yeah and we've actually got some really good ideas for some recipes once I can actually have regular food um, I've got a couple <laughs> of ideas for like some mug cakes using keto chow okay Basically, instead of using protein powder, using keto chow because then you're getting like a lot of the vitamins and minerals that you like could use. So like you could make like a mug cake meal. Wow. Yeah. You know, like, I've got some really good ideas that I'm going to start playing with next week and like coming up with some things like it's like, like an ice cream. I know even keto chow has a few things like like little brownie bites and stuff like that. But I've got some really good ideas. Are they so easy Rachel could do it? Some of them are. I, obviously, I have wow. to play with them. I'm going to have to order some extra keto chow so I can mess around with it. All right. But definitely some I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to just again replace protein powder where I would use protein powder to make pancakes and things like that using keto chow but you'll have to mess with the ingredients a little bit with the fats and stuff like that i like it so i actually thought about making one tomorrow but i was like ah, i guess adding an egg would be cheating even though chris did say some people use eggs as the fat for keto chow oh that's interesting so so we'll wait till next week for that okay so we're sitting outside so we're going to kind of shorten this one up a little bit anthony's got his girlfriend over and we didn't want to and like have to film with them inside well rain like on their date yes they're playing video games yeah it's awesome like she comes over they cook some dinner together and just play video games i love it i love it so um how was the scale today we didn't talk about that at lunch oh i forgot i was d uh, down another pound 143. wow that's awesome i like it what about you and well i'm before you get to me i'm thinking about you're actually eating more calories than you were eating before, right? Because you're normally around 1,500 calories, and I've got you at 1,600 right now. So you're eating 100 calories more than you were. And I usually intermittent fast, and I'm getting three meals now. Right. I like that. And again, it's not that keto chow is a magic or anything like that, but it does help you stay on track. Yeah, because I'm 
I'm exactly eating this. Right. It's all the other stuff that we add right. that messes us up. I just like the fact that it does give us like all of the nutrients you need because I haven't even had to add some electrolytes, so that's kind of cool. That's amazing. So for me, um, I am missing food a little bit, at least the act of chewing food a little bit. I'm not now. <laughs> Except for I'm seeing down on the bottom, you, how are you going to get around that blender ball? You know what I do? When I'm down to where there's just the blender ball, that's when I make a cup of coffee and swish it all around in here. It's awesome. Don't worry, I'm not going to miss anything. So I do miss the act of chewing a little bit. I mean, not a whole lot because I'm, I'm completely full. So this morning I skipped breakfast. Um, oh yeah, we had you lunch. doubled up. Well, I didn't really double up, so I had lunch when we did the video, and then about two hours later, or an hour and a half later, I drank a half of a vanilla shake, and I added a few OOO drops to it. I added, for the first half, I added um, key lime, which was really good. Mm -hmm. And then about, I guess about an hour or two hours later, I, ha I had the other half. And I tried it with like a couple of the blueberry cheesecake drops from OO. How was that? It was really good. Which so, one did you like better? Um, the key lime. It mm -hmm. came through more. I think I needed more blueberry drops, but I didn't want to add too many. Okay. So I got the OO five uh, drops from Amazon. It's kind of weird. Like if you buy one bottle, it's like seven dollars, but you can buy ten bottles for twenty four dollars. Well, that's but they're silly. super concentrated. You don't want to overdo it with those flavors. Yeah. Yeah. Are there carbs in them? No. Okay. Um, so back to the scale. So I'm down another pound. I was 180.3 this morning when I woke up. Wow. So you think you're going to see 179? I think I'll see 179. And I've been at 179 before. I mean, at least for like a day or a half Feels a like day. It's been a while though, hasn't it? No, right before I hit 179 when we were doing the cut down. To oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but you know, it's, I always kind of go back up to right around, I think my resting is usually like right around 181, 182. If I have a day where I eat something like that can cause a little bit of inflammation, like something that has canola oil or something like that in it, I'll get up to around 184, sometimes 185 if I haven't had enough water or something like that. So, but generally my hover is like right around 182, somewhere around there. But I like it. It does count, like, if you see 179, it counts even if it's only for, like, an hour because you, you lost, like, five pounds of water weight, right? Oh, it totally counts. Like, if I see it, it's happening. I would be interested to see if I can get down into the 170s and stay there, but I don't want to have to buy a bunch more clothes either. Like, if I can get into the 170s... But stay in the same clothes. But stay in the same clothes, I'd probably do that. Completely possible. Yeah. You never know where the fat's going to come off of. I know. Could be to like your back. The problem, well, I don't really have a lot of back fat right now. I have just like whatever is in that loose skin around my stomach, which is like the most difficult to get rid of because it's like not attached to anything. It's on that loose skin. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm sticking around. Yeah. So overall, um, we're halfway through, more than halfway through, right? This is the end of day four. We got three more days. I am loving it. Chris texted me earlier um, in response to yesterday. He's like, I want to see you do 30 days. I told him I could do it. I just need, like, a, somebody is, like, revving up a motorcycle or something behind us. You're going somewhere fine. I told him I could do it, but I definitely need, like, to prepare myself a little bit. Not, like, mentally, but we have, like, some companies that have asked us to review some products, and I need to kind of get all that stuff out of the way. But I think I'd like to do it. You want to really, do it, too? I do. I really want to do it. Especially, like, I don't know. It feels like something to do good for the holiday season even yeah maybe the holiday season or something like that or after the holiday season to get you back on track oh yeah it'd so. be great but we'll see hey, right now this was just a really fun challenge to do i am enjoying it i it's just nice to know that like i'm completely full i have been completely full and every meal has been super tasty right and to me there's no difference really between this and like the keto brick challenge mm -mm. right no totally full same right. way same thing well that is our video for today guys let us know down below i know a bunch of you have said you're like doing this challenge let yeah, us know how, how are you it's feeling going. how are you feeling what flavors do you like um if you like what you saw do us a favor hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow good night bye